Thank you for looking at the Author Word Processor, Reader PDF Viewer, and the Liquid Text Interaction Tool. Let's start with citing an author. To cite from a book, do Command-T and enter the name of the book or the author, and choose from the results to get all the citation information. It's quick and easy to cite an academic document by simply copying text from Reader. Open the academic document, which has a DOI, copy the DOI, then paste. This will result in all the citation information being appended to the last page. This means that in the future, you can copy text from that document at any point and paste it into author as a citation. You can also do Command-C without selecting text to copy and paste a citation without quoted text. When you export from author to PDF, you can choose to automatically append a reference section and you can specify how the citations should be styled. I'll first export using the author date style. When I open the document in Reader, or any PDF viewer, the citations appear in brackets with the author's name and the year of publication, and a reference section has automatically been added. I will also export using author number. When I open this document, the names and dates in brackets have been replaced with numbers and the reference section is now numbered. In Reader and Author, you can instantly fold the document into an outline by doing Command minus. You can select text and do Command F to find all the occurrences of that text. Click to open the document at that location or do Command F to toggle out of the view. In Reader, you can highlight text by selecting text and hitting H. You can then hit H without selecting text to see everything you've highlighted. In Author, you have a free form thinking space, which you can enter by clicking Dynamic View at the bottom of the screen or through Command D. Here you can double click to enter text anywhere so that you can better see and make connections. To draw a line between two pieces of text, hold down the Option key and drag one piece of text onto another. To remove the line, select it and hit Delete. You can do basic formatting for the text for emphasis, such as bold and italic. Go back to the word processing view with Command D and select text, and then do Command D, and that will copy that text into the dynamic view for you. When you select text, some text will have a blue line around it and other text orange. You can double click on blue text to see all the occurrences of that text in the word processing view. You can click on an occurrence to open in the word processing view at that location, or you can click at the bottom of the screen or in the margin to go back to the dynamic view. If you double click on orange text, you get an option to insert it into the document. Liquid Actions allow you to select any text and instantly look it up, translate it, and more. The easiest way to get used to it is to control click on text in author, then choose liquid, and that text will be copied into the liquid interface. Now you can click through the menu, for example, going to references, then Wikipedia. The fast way is to use keyboard shortcuts. Select text, launch liquid, then R for references, and W for Wikipedia. This is what it looks like at normal working speed to look up the etymology of a word, using R for references and E for etymology. You can also translate text. I'll translate to Japanese, so I'll select text, launch liquid, and T for translate. E for from English, J for to Japanese. When you get the results, you can choose to Command C to copy the results without having to select anything. This will copy the translated text and dismiss the liquid interface. You can now Command B to paste the translated text if you so wish. If you have heavy text to read, you can select the text, launch liquid, and hit the space bar to see the text laid out almost like a poem full screen. Thank you for looking at this very brief intro. For more information, please have a look at the individual pieces of software. And please do not hesitate to get in touch should you have any comments or questions. I really hope you will find the software useful.